Okay, so you're working in your EpiInfo program. You're going to uh, choose your Visual Dashboard module. You're going to go to Options and Open Canvas and navigate to the location where you've saved the dashboard uh, canvas, that, canvas that I've sent to you. What's really important is that that location is the same place that your data is saved in. So let's just open up that location. So here is my folder, my EpiInfo 7 output folder. And in here we have the canvas that I'll email to you, the CVS7 file, but also we have the Dogalog data. So all the CSV files that are created using the classic analysis process, which remember uses these uh, PGM7 uh, files. This is where the CSV data is saved as well. So the canvas is going to read that data, so they must be in the same location. Okay, so you open up that canvas, Doglog Basic Analysis, click open and let it process. So what this is doing is running a whole set of analysis on um, this particular data file, Doggerlog data, and it's running the analysis on all 283 records that we have in our Doggerlog. And it's got all kinds of frequencies and so on in here. And you can add um, frequencies very easily. Go to the bottom, right click, do add analysis gadget, choose some, whatever you like off here. You probably most likely want to look at frequencies. And then you can look at any of the variables in here look at the frequencies of those. So for example, um, let's look at dog gender and click OK. And then you'll see the split between uh, females and males. OK. Um, now what's important is that currently this analysis is looking at all the data and we probably just want to analyse by Banjar. So we do that by going to this data filter um, pull out. You're going to choose Banjar name is equal to, and then choose the uh, banjo you want to look at. So let's look at Langon and add filter. Okay, so now we can see the analysis is only being applied to the 48 dogs that live in Langon. So all this analysis has now been filtered to only show dogs in that particular banjo. And so to change banjars, we click remove selected. See now it's gone back to the all 283 dogs. Back to data filter, banjo name is equal to, and this time you go, oh, hello, there we go. This time you're going to choose a different name, so Penopengan, and add filter. Okay, so now we can see the, the analysis is being applied just to the 139 dogs that live in the uh, banjo of Penopengan. Um, so if you want to share this or export it, then it's easiest to export it. So you do right click then send output to, um, and either you can use Microsoft Excel or Word, click Excel, and it will automatically then create this little um, data file, this little analysis file rather, and shows you all of the analysis for um, that particular banjo. And it will tell you at the top here the uh, filters that you've applied. So we can see here that this is just for the banjo Penopangan. Okay, that completes this video on how to use Visual Dashboard to analyze your data.